Yes, sir. It's your boy JT, and I'm back again with another Mutt 23 video for you. And today, we got the top 10 defensive ends for the start of Mutt 23. Let's get right into it. I know you see it on the screen right here, so we just gonna get straight into it. So right off the bat, we got at number one, we got Aaron Donald. At number two, we got Miles Garrett. At number three, we got Nick Bosa. At number four, we got Chandler Jones. At number five, we got Cameron Jordan. At number six, we got Cameron Hayward. At number seven, we got Jeffrey Simmons. At number eight, we got Trey Hen Hendrickson. I'm sorry about that. Ooh. At number nine, we got Calais Campbell. And at number 10, we got Ndamukong Sue. Ooh, this list is tough. I like it though, I ain't gonna lie. I like it though. But let's go ahead and get into these stats. All right, right off the bat, we got the beast number 99 himself coming in at an 88 overall, Aaron Donald. Rocking that 79 speed, 83 excel, 88 strength, 83 tackle, 87 play rack, 87 block shed, 88 power move, 87 finesse move, straight beast. You already know what to expect from him. Great when it comes to the run game, great when it comes to the passing game, all around great pass rusher for your LA Rams. Next up, we got Miles Garrett coming in with the 88 overall, with 80 speed, 84 excel, 88 strength, 84 tackle, 86 play rec, 85 block shed, 88 power move, and 84 finesse. Already know Miles Garrett is coming in with that speed, that strength, that block shed for sure. He's just all around monster. You can't do nothing, you can't block them, you can't hold them. Miles Garrett for your Cleveland Browns. Next up, we got Nick Bosa coming in at an 87 overall, rocking that 82 speed, 85 excel, 80 strength, 84 tackle, 84 play rec, 83 block shed, 82 power move with the 86 finesse move. We all know Nick Bosa is known for his finesse, getting around that edge with that speed. Great speed, excel great with the finesse move like butter. And that is Nick Bosa for your San Francisco 49ers. Next up, we got Chandler Jones coming in at an 86 overall with 75 speed, 77 excel, 83 strength, 84 tackle, 84 play rack, 82 block shed, 86 power move, and 83 finesse move. Not so good when it comes to the speed, but he definitely has that power move. And yeah, power, good power move as far as that. Everything else, 80s around the board. Love it, it's Chandler Jones for your Las Vegas Raiders. Next up, we got Cameron Jordan coming in at an 86 overall. And he's rocking that 72 speed, 72 acceleration, 86 strength, 86 tackle, 88 play rack, 83 block shed with the 85 power move with the 77 finesse. Great strength, great tackle, play rack, great good power move as well not very not the finesse guy that you're looking for but more so of that run stopper that beefy dude down there you got him right here and cameron jordan for your new orleans saints next up we got coming in at an 85 overall we got cameron hayward uh, rocking the 74 speed 74 excel 83 strength, 86 tackle, 85 play rack, 86 block shed, 86 power move, and that 65 finesse move. Great as far as the pass rusher. Like I said, another run stopper here with the block shed, the play rack, the power move, and the strength, and the tackle. Not so much of a finesse, not so much of a pass rusher, but for a run stopper, he will, he will be good for you, and that will be for your 
Cameron Hayward for your Pittsburgh Steelers. Next up, we got coming in at 85 overall, Jeffrey Simmons with that 71 speed, 77 excel, 86 strength, 84 tackle, 84 play rec, 83 block shed, 83 power move, and 72 finesse move with the great strength. Honestly, I feel like he should have, his speed should be higher. Um, good block shed, good power move. Um, as far as finesse is low, but all in all, pretty decent card. Um, definitely would would have would love to see him have a little bit more speed and his block shed be a little bit more higher, but that, it, that will be Jeffrey Simmons for your Tennessee Titans. Next up, we got Trey Hendrickson from your coming in at 84 overall uh, with the 77 speed, 82 excel, 75 strength, 78 tackle, 86 play rec, 81 block shed, 75 power move, 85 finesse move. Great when it comes to the pay, play, uh, play rec and the finesse move and pretty decent block shed. Not so much with the strength, but of course he's going to be that speed rusher coming off the edge. Speed is a little low, wish it was a little higher, but definitely will be a pretty decent speed rusher coming off the edge with that finesse. Gotta love it. That will be Trey Hendrickson for your Cincinnati Bengals. Next up, we got Calais Campbell coming in at an 84 overall. Rocking his 69 speed, 71 excel, 86 strength, 86 tackle, 83 play rec, 84 block shed, 78 power move, and 68 finesse move. As far as speed is pretty trash, excel is pretty trash, good strength, good tackle, play rec, pretty good play rec, um, block shed is pretty good. Like I said, another run stopper, not really expecting him to be a pass rusher, you know, put him down there, he's the beef. Go ahead and get get down there, clog up some holes, and stop that run for you. We got Calais Campbell for your Baltimore Ravens. Next up, we got Nadamikin Sue coming in at an 84 overall with 72 speed, 73 excel, 84 strength, 84 tackle, 83 play rec, 82 block shed, 82 power move, and a 63 finesse move. Honestly, good strength, decent strength, decent tackle, all block shed, power move, decent play rec. Like I said, another beefy guy. Put him down there, stop the run. That's what we expect. The Dominican Sue for your Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Three top 10 defensive ends for this year for the beginning of month. Love the list. Honestly, Michael Parsons was put in the top 10 for outside linebackers. I would have put him in defensive ends as well. Because if we put him in defensive ends, I would easily put him at I would easily put him at either three or four if we could do that. But you know what? We can't. But it's okay. They classify him as an outside linebacker. But you know what? If we put him at defensive end, I'll put him at three or four. But we can't have it our way all the time. So it is what it is. It's a great list at the end of the day. Stats, of course, are going to be low and pretty minimal. But you know what? It's the beginning of the month. Gotta love it. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.